Good morning, YouTubers. T-Square with T-Square Talk. So today we are going to cook up some stuffed mushrooms. I'm going to walk you through the process, let you know how I like to do it, and uh, hopefully you guys give this a try. If you like this video, please make sure you hit the thumbs up and uh, hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. reason I decided to do mushrooms today, they were on sale at the grocery store 50% off, which made them really cheap. You're talking under a dollar a package. It's going to make a good appetizer. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is pop these open and core them out, and I will show you how I do that. Okay, when you are coring these mushrooms out, because they are really small to handle, I recommend a small paring knife. Um, but it's going to be really simple. I'm going to do this through the camera, so it's, I'm going to be a little bit slower at it. All you're going to do is cut right around the stem. And the knife is just, a, a sharp knife is just going to glide right through here. As soon as you just cut around it, all you got to do is apply a little pressure, and it's going to break right out, as you can see right there. And then you have it right there. Now the cores you can actually use if you want to saute them up in the steak, something like that. Um, they come in handy, so I'll put them off to the side. And that's that. Now as you can see, I've already got a bunch of them done. I will show you guys the next step. Now the next thing I'm going to do, um, I'm going to put a little bit of uh, baby spinach in each one. If you saw my previous recipes yesterday or the day before, um, I had gotten some extra baby spinach got to use it up so I'm just going to cram it inside all these mushrooms and I will show you that in a minute so once you cram up some spinach um, the next thing we're going to put in here on top of this is going to be some cream cheese as always I'm going to be using a 8 ounce block of HEB cream cheese the reason I like HEB cream cheese it's a good quality cream cheese at a lower price. Um, you're not playing for that high name brand. You're getting good quality at a good price. So, um, Also, leave this out for maybe about 10 minutes. It's going to be a little easier to spread in the mushrooms. And the best way to spread it in the mushrooms will be with a regular butter knife. Once I show you this, I'll move on to the next step. Okay, so once the cream cheese is in them all, um, they're ready to put in the oven. I put mine in the oven at 400 degrees. Now, I'm going to do something a little different today. Um, somebody gave me these yesterday, and they are amazing. And she likes a little spice in her food. So what I'm going to be doing today, I'm going to be adding a little bit of cayenne pepper on top and a little bit of uh, old smoked pepper which uh, this is a South Side Market product. It's really delicious. I'm gonna add it on top, sprinkle it on. It's gonna give the flavor in the cream cheese. And then I'm gonna put them in the oven at 400 degrees and we'll be right back. Okay, once they've been in for about 10, 12 minutes, mushrooms don't take long to cook. There's nothing in here. I mean, you could really eat them raw if you wanted to, but you want them to be a little cooked so the flavor intensifies. Um, I'm going to be adding a little bit of sharp cheddar and a little bit of mozzarella. You want to put that on, that way it melts, and then you're going to put it back in the oven for about five more minutes maybe. So I'm going to get that done, and then we'll pull them out in a bit. Now we're going to end up trying to get these things plated up so they look all pretty and I will show you guys the finished product. Now you're going to have some burnt cheese here and there because it wasn't on nothing so it's going to overcook the cheese but let's get them on a plate and I'll show you the finished product. And there you have it guys. These are so good. I just had a couple. Oh my word they're delicious. Um, please hit that like, that subscribe button. Um, we are trying to grow the channel. Leave us a comment. Let us know what you think and you must try this. These are absolutely delicious. Um, the cayenne pepper puts a really nice kick to it. Not too spicy, but really good. I will see you guys again on T-Square Talk, and you guys take care. Bye-bye.